Hello, hello, wonderful people. I can't believe we're doing this. We're back here with Glenn and Mado and we are at the airport. We are ready for a new adventure. And I'm really sorry if we have neglected you because the last video we made, like live uploaded, it's been a while because we have been We've been doing a lot working, of things, working and saving yeah, some money for the next trip. So saving some money for this trip now. So we're in uh, Munich, Germany, traveling to Auckland on a 29-hour flight. We are excited. We're going to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very adventurous. I, I still can't believe it. I still can't believe we're doing this, but I'm very excited. Um, I still can't believe. Yeah, I'm traveling that, oh. that far. Uh, I've never been. I've never traveled that far. Ford is gonna have a travel from uh, Europe anyway. It's gonna be a long flight. Maybe we can also, if you're interested in a packing video, because we packed a lot of things. So let us know if you're interested in that, guys. We're gonna see. We have a five and a half hour flight to Doha, so we're gonna see you there. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost fell asleep. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep tonight. So I'm a vegetarian. I don't. Singapore. What those? These trees, there, these down there. Uh, we've never. Last then. time we came to Qatar, yeah, the trees down there. Remind you of Singapore? Yeah. Yeah, so the last time we were here in Qatar last year, there was no trees. And uh, it definitely made the airport look more beautiful. Yeah. But maybe that's more advanced. Maybe that's a different location because I don't remember any of this. Let's find that big beer. Big beer? Yeah. It's only down there. Somewhere. No, I'm not sure. I think we're somewhere far away. So let's explore Doha Airport. We have a few more hours until we're heading to Adelaide, Australia. For a technical stop, for two hours, I think. Yeah. And then. It's an interesting one. Playgrounds. Looks like a playground for kids. Down there. Nice. It's nearly time for the flight to Auckland, there, Mado. Mado, yes, we don't know what we're doing when no, we arrive in New Zealand. We have no plan whatsoever. We like the most spontaneous people on earth probably. Most unprepared people though as well. We just booked an Airbnb for three nights. We'll probably sleep for two days just to catch up on the jet lag. And then, uh, don't know. We'll Maybe we do some woohoo. Um, so woohoo is like a... Woofing. A farming. Yeah, woofing. My brain is gone, lack of sleep. Uh, so woofing, so we stay with locals and stay, stay in a farm and walk on the farm. Uh, we we'll get a free accommodation, that's the idea. So uh, we'll probably give that a go for a short period of time anyway, anyways on our trip around New Zealand. So yeah, so we're gonna get the long, long flight now in a moment of time. Uh, my head is all over the place, but, but you can feel the effect of traveling already and we haven't even you, started the long you're flight. You're not used to it. We, we have to get used to it again. We haven't traveled like nearly oh, properly in a year. Oh, like, so yeah. All right. We're very sad. We we missed we missed you guys and we missed filming and documenting our adventures. So yeah, yeah. Here we, Here we are again. Let's do it. <laughs> right. So we got our tickets to Auckland. The thing is, we have staff tickets. Uh, my sister-in-law works for Qatar, so we get a highly discounted ticket. Um, so we have to. We can only fly with the seats available. So there is seats available, and we're going to Auckland without any issues whatsoever. So we're pretty happy with that now. That's the next step finished and finalized took the stress off our shoulders so yeah that's the situation with the staff ticket so right this flight is going to be very long very long Mado. Longest flight ever. 19 hours all right i think new zealand is very strict because we only came in the Qatar airport but we went through security did the screening got rid of our water and now we have to 
like we're only going to the, the gates and we have to go through security again and actually get rid of our water so I'm a bit upset about that because there's still my water bottle up there in the terminal so you have to go through security four times to get to New Zealand I think <laughs> Stop. We're only here for uh, two hours to security and then get back on the flight for a three and a half hour flight to New Zealand. So oh, it's crazy. So you have to do security about four or five times before you get to New Zealand. It's a bit, it's a long one. It's a long trip. <laughs> so we're going through the Australian security now in Madeline. Where the customs are very strict here, so no photography. Customs restricted area. Madeline, are you alive? Maddo. Maddo. The audience wants to know, are you alive and well? Yes. How do I even look? You look like a headless chicken. <laughs> you look like you crawled out of a cave. Is that a bit cruel? I feel like Wait for the announcement to stop. I feel like I haven't slept in two days, but I'm positive. Only four more hours to go. To Auckland, the land of green and opportunities. Slam. Yeah, With excited. With 25 million sheep. Yeah, excited. I don't know yet. My head is all over the place. Oh, we are tired and exhausted, but almost. We're almost there. We're sleep now. Yeah, we're nearly there. Um, Australia seems very nice though. It seems very nice. I wish I could actually go outside now and see what it's like. Flight 3. I'm just getting back onto the same flight again. Flight 3. They took us off for fun. One more time. They're playing games with us. Just to, it was just to put it. technical stuff. They had to view, put a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready. One more time. Ready to rock. Ready to rock. <laughs> Empty flight, Madeline. 70 people on this big huge 330 Airbus 330. We're a couple of minutes away. We're going to arrive in Auckland now in the next half an hour, 40 minutes. So. Welcome to Auckland Airport. We made it after I think 29 hours of traveling, sitting on a plane, two times changing planes. Um, <laughs> I feel like I haven't slept for two days, but I feel very excited and well, now we're gonna head to the hotel. I think we take a taxi because it's just too late. We have like a 30 minute drive to the city center. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. City center. It's, just, it's the main area of Auckland anyway, so. Main area of Auckland. Staying there for three days. I have no idea what you book, so I'm, I. It's cheap and cheerful, that's why. And then I'll well, we'll show you around maybe tomorrow, but first we have to go to bed. $40 to four spares. There's people already in it. Hello, how are you? Yeah. yeah. You're going to the Scotia place? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 43 bucks. 43, is it? Yeah. Is that 40 plus 10? <laughs> Uh, with the user card, forty dollars cash. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Okay. So we're, we're just checking into our cheap, the cheap hotel for three nights. Um, okay. We have to be quiet. So we need to enter the property. So this is our room, guys. Small and basic. Yeah. I mean, it's on, it's on 17 degrees, that's fine. <laughs> so, this is our room for tonight, guys. Hello, welcome, beautiful people. We just took a, a shuttle bus from the airport from the airport uh, to this place here in a CBD, that's I think the downtown area. Yeah, What's that place called? We booked it to Airbnb. We'll tell you more about it tomorrow or later on. And um, we paid 30 
Oh, we have $20 each. $20 each, bus. so $43 from for the New Zealand dollars from the airport to the hotel in the CBD area. So yeah, that's that's a place. It's not a luxurious hotel. Cheap but hotel just for two or three nights. Just, just to sleep and get over the worst part of the jet lag. So. Yeah, you've got your rest, so we keep so, saying that, but yeah. We're going to sleep now and then we'll catch you in the next one when yeah. we explore a bit the city center of... Auckland. Get the hat together. <laughs> Good night. Good night, guys.